It's been almost seven months since I entered the world of Everima. Carnotaurus is the largest land-based apex predator we have. And today, our juvenile Carnotaurus is learning how to survive in a world that was made to kill you. Yes, that's our first kill. And it's a rabbit. Ugh. And I'm probably going to throw up if I eat it because my hunger's full. Let's do it anyways. Oh yeah, I am really full now. What is that? Is that a Carno? I hope that's not foreshadowing. A lot of your time as a juvenile is spent scavenging for food. An opportunity like this should rarely be passed up. If you can break down a corpse by biting it, you'll get access to the nutrient-rich internal organs inside, which will provide bonuses that are absolutely vital to your survival. Oh, it's pretty gross. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that is so gross. <laughs> Ugh. What else can I haul out of this? Come on, give me something good. Uh, and... That's some kind of organ? I don't know what it is. Is that an eyeball? It's a lung. What? Is, oh no, that's a... What is that? I just said, it's a lung. Don't know, just gonna eat it. I'm pretty sure that was a lung. Ah, it's so gross. What else can I get out of this? How many organs can one creature have? Is that a heart? And that's as much as I'm willing to eat because I'm worried I'm gonna puke if I eat any more. With night fast approaching and our stomach full of fresh, nutrient-dense organ meat, I thought I'd have time before final sundown to actually go get a drink. But unfortunately, I was wrong. And as a result, we had to get water in the dead of night. I'm just a little carno. I have no nutritional value. Okay. All right. It's your water. You can have it. It's all yours. Just don't want anything to do with that anymore. Dinosuchus have sensory organs that respond to the slightest disturbance in the surface of water, and they detect vibrations and small pressure changes as tiny as a single drop. They knew of my presence, but were too far away to act. We had a really productive first day in this world, and we ended it fully nourished and hydrated. Now it's time to sleep and wait for morning. The day started with an unusual sighting. Oh, what is that? Curiosity killed the cat. Why did that look like a Dilo? And I severely misjudged what it was. I swear. That looked just like a... Oh, God! Like I said, we definitely misjudged what this was. Why would you do that to me? Unfortunately, I would hope another Carnotaurus would want to pair with me. Or at the very least, I would get a warning if they are hostile. I can't really fault the guy though. It's a you or me world and the Carno is a notorious cannibal. I should have seen it coming. This time, we will do better. Well then. <sighs> Alright, let's just avoid... Oh no, you're the one that killed me! Oh, hello, little raptor. You got messed up. Any organs left? Oh, yeah, there are organs left. Okay. I will happily rip every organ out of this carcass and eat them all. Oh, man. That is, uh, it's pretty good. And, oh, okay, there's no organs left. Here is why organs are so vital. On the right, you'll see three different nutritional dots, and those are my nutrients. This is a list of what each nutrient does and the combinations that you can have and the bonuses they will give you. Now you see why, if you didn't know already. I got a good feeling about this time. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, everything that makes me tense, my abdomen hurts so bad. Ah! Uh, well, why does everything hurt so bad, you ask? I'm not even scared of the game at this point, I'm just scared of the pain. Well, while I was playing the aisle, I was passing a kidney stone. <laughs> yeah, it was really painful. What the? What's happening with those nutrients? Why are they... Why are they moving? Well, oh, that's why it's moving. My nutrients were starting to deplete, so I began searching for sources of nourishment. Okay, maybe we won't. I wasn't the only one with that idea. Oh yeah, we definitely won't. That Carnotaurus looked significantly larger than me, possibly nearing the... Please stop making loud noises. Very noisy. Oh, please don't come near me. Sub-adult stage of its life cycle. Hopefully, it'll find out why we call broadcasting like that a dinner bell. Oh, is that a carno? 
And on cue, the reason I left, a cannibalistic Carnotaurus was running right for it. Oh, I got it. Oh, it was a rabbit. I thought it was like a raptor or something. Luckily, we were having more luck hunting rabbits in our spare time. Too big to swallow. What do you mean? Oh, we got a corpse. What is it? Do you have any organs left? Give me something good. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, ew. Oh, God. Uh, all right, I guess intestines are on the menu. When it comes to survival, it's not really a life of luxury. And any other goodies? Uh, ooh, that's a big heart. Okay. But even as a genetically engineered dinosaur, we're still more natural than Liver King. And... Maybe that's a lung. There you go. So I'll breathe better now. <laughs> okay, that's not how that works, but you know. And... Wait, does this thing have two hearts or is this a kidney? Or a liver? Okay, hear me out. I never claim to be an expert of anatomy. I just know what it takes to survive. Okay, cut me a break. You know, technically the tongue is an organ. I wonder if they'd ever add that. Another night has passed and our Carnotaurus is eager to start the morning off right. We've graduated from small prey like rabbits and are now hunting larger game like deer, a far more substantial food source that we can now tackle and dispatch with our increased mass. You can kind of just survive without really even needing to fight anything at this size. I wonder if I can find a boar. It's just, if you die, it's so punishing. There's no mercy at all. It is back to stage one. The saying is, everything happens for a reason. Oh, and you're dead. Can you tell me what it is here? Oh, oh, uh, uh, okay. D don't, oh my God. Ooh, ooh, what? Ooh, ooh, why is the pig doing that? Stop it. What is happening? I, I, I. I don't even... No. I, um... Okay. Well... I, are you serious? I can't even eat them? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> Bro! That is not a pig. That was not a pig. Honestly, I think we killed a mimic. Dude, that was... That was not a pig. Oh my god, it's gone! Those freaking little bird things! You annoying ass! God damn it, man. Like, what? Oh, come here, you. Yeah, I got one! Okay, it's not much of a meal, but it's a meal. Oh, you are ugly, but also really high quality. Did you give me any nutrition at all? I don't think those offer nutrition. And barely any hunger. Well, I guess I'm off to get something else. Oh, hello. I wonder if I can get away with, uh, eating this little guy. So this was a little haphazard, but I let the invasive thoughts win. I wanted to see if I could use that body as a lure to attract smaller predators and hopefully use my size advantage to ram them at speed catapulting them down the cliff to their death. That way I get easy free organ meat and food with very little risk. Granted, I didn't catapult myself off the cliff. Come on, take the bait. Take the bait. Come on, start eating. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't push him off, so I'll wait for him to come back. <laughs> but I definitely scared the crap out of that guy. He took off. He was just not having it. Actually. What's that? On paper, it was a really cool idea. In practice, however, it just didn't work. I was not large enough to actually make a meaningful impact and send them flying down the rocks you see there. So we'll have to try it another day. We've reached the sub-adult stage. Staying out at night isn't as dangerous for me now. So tonight I started hunting at night. I wasn't really having much luck hunting other predators. However, there were lots of prey around. <laughs> Whoa, hey, 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 don't do- Damn it, man, not again! What? Why? Why? I need that food! Unfortunately, we might starve. Ah, uh, god damn it. Might as well get a mud bath while I can. What's that? Oh, 
Oh, it's a small dino. Probably a large one nearby. Another day, another lesson reinforced. If you smell a free meal near a river, just remember something put that meal there. Oh yeah, I knew there was a big one down there. That Dino's huge. And I was going to get a drink too, because I figured this place would be safe. We're right at the edge of the world. Like there's no way there's anyone hanging out here, but no, there's a massive one in there. It's a good thing I don't need a drink. The only path forward was through a shallow section of the river I had deemed safe. Beyond there, I'd find vast open plains and with any luck, some extra meals I could put under my belt. I double checked to make sure the coast was clear and then I made a break for it. While praying, Adino wasn't there waiting to pounce on me. I got lucky, and a quick survey of the other side seemed to promise I was fairly safe. Or so I thought. Whoa, uh... Hello? What? Why is that? <laughs> it's a literal flying fish. Okay, then, I guess that's fine. Ho! Oh, a large male Carnotaurus ambushed me from behind. I don't even see that guy. Where did he come from? This must be its territory, and its face was still bloody from a fresh meal, so it couldn't have been hungry. It tried to tackle me to the ground, but missed, and at the last second turned to bite my tail. A threat display. If this Karno wanted an easy meal, I would have been it. It easily had a couple hundred pounds on me. The goal seemed to be scaring me off. Well, the locals aren't very friendly. I don't know if that was a fully grown Carno or if that was around my size. I feel like he was around my size. And the amount of damage that it did, maybe it might have been even smaller. I'm gonna go check that out. I was skeptical on the weight advantage this Carnotaurus had on me, so I ventured out and I wanted to just see if I could find them. And if I can get the jump on him. That's what I'm going to do. I searched for the Carnotaurus up until nightfall, and I came up empty-handed. I did, however, spot some herbivores that were grazing in nearby fields. Well, time to change locations, because those guys are not going to be very friendly with me. As an adult Carnotaurus, night is now my friend, and I took advantage of its cover to begin hunting. Personally, I don't like the idea of killing the same species unless absolutely necessary. There's a small Tenanto there. Besides, a lone juvenile Tenanto, likely separated from the herd we saw earlier, is here. Oh yeah! It wouldn't really make for much of a meal, but at least it was something. I think I can break its body open and get the organs. Yeah, I broke that down pretty good. And now I can start picking organs out and eat whatever I want. It's clear we're not the only one in this hunting ground. That doesn't sound promising. Ambush could come from anywhere and never forget. Darkness is a double-edged sword. That really doesn't sound promising. I better hurry up. What is happening over there? Oh, that's that small kernel. And a pteranodon guaranteed to be some kind of scout or a group. Because that's what they always do. Gotta watch for that Carno. Even though I'm bigger than him, I have a feeling he could probably ram into me. Really mess up my leg. An adult Dinosuchus has caught the scent of my fresh kill. That is a big Dino. Whoa, what the? Uh... Out of water, it's fairly vulnerable, but it's still got the most bite force of any predator to ever exist. I don't know if I... Should I contest this? Ah, oh, he's so big, though. I don't know if I can... A threat display was enough to deter me for the moment and give me second thoughts. Like that, that bite force. His bite force is disgusting. The Dino dwarfed me in size, but this was a matter of principle. I'd at least get one hit in to send a message. Gathering significant distance, I charged at the terrible crocodile with all my weight. Oh, he's so big! Oh, he's huge! My ram did like nothing to him. I don't even think I managed to break a rib. Yeah, he did a little bit to me. But he's just so huge. I just, I can't... I can't do anything to that. I think the body's gone anyway, so... I retreated to recover from the devastating bite, hoping in the morning I'd have better luck. 
There's something up right here. What is this? Are you rotting? Another carno. Nothing around. See, the worst thing is, with this limited sight, I can't move my camera very far. I should still be able to see, like, 180 degrees at the very least to my left and to my right. I feel, anyways, that that's how that should work. Not just, like, I have 45 degrees of travel. And too bad if you don't like that. Like, that's... It's a little bit too limited, I feel. And I don't know what those guys are doing down there. They're just gonna get themselves killed. And then I wanna eat their bodies. Usually, if I come across water like this, I just watch it really closely and I use scent. And if there's any dead bodies in the water, that usually signifies there is something around that killed said dead body, so you leave. I'm not smelling anything right now. This might be okay to drink. Relatively safe, anyways. But the Isle is such a punishing game, you almost don't want to trust anything. Which you shouldn't, in all fairness. But I'm getting down there. And desperation is setting in, so... I know that big pond over there is usually filled with, with, uh, dinos. I think this is the better option, though. This is so covered by bush and everything else, I shouldn't be noticed. And there's no way I'm gonna get ambushed in here. Nothing's gonna see me from behind. And the odds of a dino... Okay, so I think there is a dino here. I swear I just saw a food icon. It was relatively far away, though, somewhere over in that pond. Okay, over right there. And it's moving. And it's gone. So something is over there eating right now. Well, if it already has food... Maybe it won't need me. Just gotta watch the water closely. I'm not seeing anything. And we're good. It makes getting water such a tense experience, though. And, like, maybe this would have been perfectly fine, too, but... I wasn't really wi willing to, to risk that. I swear, every time I see my water getting low, I get so stressed out. Whoa. Uh. Hello? What? Oh, this is one of the, uh, I think I remember this one. Uh, yeah. One of the old human facilities. Sometimes little creatures like to hide out in these too. But it doesn't look like anything's here right now. Trying to hide away. So I wonder what growth rate will turn into and if that will change to like... A combat stat, since I'll be fully grown soon. Does that change, I wonder? So 100% growth. Growth rate increased 30%. So they, they should change that. I hope that they do change that, actually. I shouldn't have increased growth when I'm 100%. Like, even if it just removes completely and I just don't get a bonus. I mean, I'm fine with that. The following day, I had a lot of bad luck. There was no food or even corpses to scavenge, and I began getting desperate. Another day and night had passed, and then we enter today. My carno is now withering away from malnourishment, and I entered a very dangerous stage. Soon, if I did not find adequate meals, I'd be too weak to even catch anything, or, or worse. I'd be in a fight for my life and be disadvantaged. Ah, oh, I am in so much trouble right now. And there's a Stegosaurus there. Leave me alone. You look really pretty, though. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm injured. I can't even fight you if I wanted to right now. Driven to the edge of desperation. I'm gonna pray there's nothing here. I didn't smell any bodies, so I started making irrational decisions. Hopefully there is nothing here. Hoping I would get ahead What's of the that? impending doom. If I was going to make it out of this alive, I had to make some drastic decisions. Okay, please don't be anything in the water. Some of those decisions could have easily proven okay. fatal, and I had no way of knowing if they would be beneficial to my survival or detrimental. All right, a field. We might find something here. Oh God, I look so decrepit and 
malnourished. Everything's sunken in. Ah. Uh. Oh. What's this? Is this something good? Please be something good. Luck was finally on my side. I found a field with a couple small animals that I could scavenge through and small corpses, but it was barely enough for a meal, and I was not getting a balanced nutritional diet from this, so I was missing out on a lot of the important perks that I wanted to get, but I did get increased scent range, which was okay. This night was filled with uncertainty. The next day would be filled with adrenaline and hope. didn't see me. Alone to Nanto, big enough to be a substantial threat. If I mess this up, I'm as good as dead. This is a very tedious moment of survival. One wrong move, and it could be game over for me. A single kick to the skull of a Carnotaurus from a Tonanto is a death sentence. vicious kick to the side, but I was lucky. It only staggered me. It didn't knock me down. It's not fully grown, but it hurts. I retreated to the safety of the forest to try and ambush from another angle. It can't see me. I didn't expect it, but the Tenanto actually followed me into the woods, hoping it would find me to inflict a final blow, but it's definitely trying to. My dark camouflage proved invaluable here. It's trying to sniff me out. How doesn't it see me? Will I get away with just staying here like this? Oh, no way it didn't see me. The Tonanto felt it scared me off, so it retreated back to a safe location. I'm gonna very cautiously Wait, did it die? I got it! Yes! They are stupidly dangerous if you don't approach them the right way. I'm lucky that thing didn't break my ribs. But now I'm going to try and tear into its body. And see if I can get some good organs out of this. Look at all these little compies! Oh, you're so cute! I forgot about you! I'll let you have a meal too, little compies. You are more than welcome at my side. You are just so adorable. That is stupidly cute. Like, I hate how cute that is. I don't know what organs give you what nutrient yet, unfortunately. So I'm kind of just eating them all like a glutton and hoping that I get ones that are good. Oh, that's so cute. Like, that's stupidly cute. I love that so much. They all just came around and... They're having a meal with me. It was really cute. Damn, we did a number on that, huh? Oh! Oh! Look at all the bones and everything sticking out of it. What are you doing, little guy? Why are you just standing there? Have a meal. Yes. Oh, he's so hippity hoppity. Look at him. Oh, you're stuck. There you go, little guy. Have your meal. I'll share with you. I don't mind sharing with the little guy. <laughs> God, that's cute. 
That is such a welcome treat. And I am completely full. I will need to get some water. All right, little guy, you enjoy that. You can have the rest of that. I wanted to try and balance my diet for a better set of bonuses. Maybe a bonus to regenerate my stamina quickly or a bonus to increase my maximum health. The nutrient that I'm looking for comes from raptors, other carnos, and goats. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of raptors there. I don't trust that though because they could all pounce on me and bleed me out. Oh, there is so many! Typically, raptors aren't much of a threat to the Carnotaurus. It's the land-based apex predator. A group of raptors, however, could easily pounce and bleed out a Carno over time by tearing into it with their razor-sharp claws. The problem is one of my nutrient bars is already filled, and I don't know if I kill something with a different nutrient if it will make a difference. Wait, do I have permanent scarring? Wait, is that permanent scarring, or is that... What is that? I think I have permanent scarring. There's a raptor stalking me. A curious and brave juvenile raptor is mock hunting me. Looks like they only have one adult. I better be careful. If the adults think their child is in danger, it could provoke a response. Not really that much of a threat. What the hell is that? This youngster is just refusing to leave me alone, however. Are you seriously going to come over here? I'll make a meal out of you. At this point, I'm sure it's trying to start something and get the pack here. Maybe I should try and scare it off. Get out of here. And it threatened back. It's clearly trying to provoke a response. Hoping its pack will come to the rescue and create a little bit of action in the otherwise docile planes. I don't like that they're following me like that. I tried kicking things up a notch to scare it off even more. That's what you get. Now get out of here. While I don't need food. I think I scared the crap out of that one. <laughs> he squealed. It seems like my tactic worked and it left me alone. What the? And now the raptors are preoccupied. What was that? I still to this day don't know what it is. I've never heard a sound like that before. Why is this guy just an antagonizing? I don't... I don't understand. Why are you doing that? It's time for me to leave before this raptor ends up getting me killed. Playful or not. I continued my journey through the jungle. This time, I was in search of a safe place to get some water. Those raptors are following me. And that's not good. At this point, I should have been out of range to hear those raptors. It's time to lose them. I don't know if I can handle that many of them. Oh, and of course, there's a bunch of dinos down here. Wait, there's two small things. Oh, something just got snatched! Oh, another Carnotaurus. I really did think about going there to get a drink, seeing as that Dinosuchus had a meal. But I didn't know how many Dinos were there, so I elected not to. Oh, there's a big Dino right there. Entering these plains was supposed to be an opportunity for water. Instead, it turned into a trip to a prehistoric zoo with no safety. Oh, yeah. He is massive. Oh, and there's another one right there. This place is infested. Oh, this place is absolutely infested. Oh, and that one's going back in the water. I don't think I can cross this at all without seriously risking death. Oh, and there's a bunch of raptors there too. Oh, it's that same group. Well, I wasn't getting water this far downstream, so maybe I'd have more luck up ahead further. There was a lot of blood in the area, and one section in particular made me curious, so I decided to approach and just see exactly what was happening. Oh! I think one of them just got munched. A juvenile Dinosuchus proving its dominance. Oh yeah, the gator. He's, uh... That's his food. Fortunately for the Dinosuchus, it's not on the menu because it offers me no nutritional value. 
Normally, I would have stayed out to hunt through the night, but this area is infested with massive Dinosuchus. So it's time to hunker down for the night and wait for morning. When we wake, we will find a way to get some water. But for now, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Leave a like down below if you would like to see more, and I will see you in the next one.